So the conversation continues as we try to make sense of the warning issued by the Nigerian Bar Association through the Assistant National Publicity Secretary, Abib Lawal, um, calling out and using Lassie Suelenu as a point of reference to other comedians on representation of lawyers in their comedy. Habib was live with us on the previous episode to further explain his tweets, as he said they should be seen more as an advice than a threat. So now joining us to share his own take is a legal practitioner and, of course, a member of the NBA, Liberos Ushoma. Hi, Mr. Ushoma. Yeah, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you today? I'm good, I'm here. We're good, we're fine. So tell us, um, what's your take on um, the NBA stand? I mean, you are, you are a member, so how do you feel about this? Yeah, I will answer your question by posing a question. If you are representing the military in, in a comedy, do you wear their uniform upside down? We if you are representing a medical doctor, in a comedy, do you wear their uniform upside down? We see the that answer is definitely the no. So what the NBA is saying is not that you can't use the wig and gown mm. for your comedy, but for Christ's sake, wear it properly. No lawyer wears the wig and gown on a jeans trouser and a t-shirt. Because when you do that, that is the image of a Nigerian lawyer that some of your fans outside the shores of Nigeria, far and wide, are going to see and have about the Nigerian lawyer. And so it behoves on NBA, the Nigerian Bar Association, to protect the, the image and integrity of the way the Nigerian lawyer is perceived both onshore and offshore. But don't you think it's a safer thing to do by not wearing it properly, especially if you're not a legal practitioner? Because you, you started with a question that do we see the military uniform being, and yes, we do, because um, in, in most comedy skits, you see them wearing only the face, uh, maybe the hat, just to represent that, okay, it's a military person, or just the t-shirts and the jeans. No, no. And even to add on no, to even no, to add no, on to that, Liberos, no, no, one no, second, no, sorry. No. One second. That's You're also forgetting no. that these That's comedians no. are not trying to um, demonstrate or reveal the, the MBA and how you guys work. These people are usually very exaggerated characters that are either very silly or very like no. nonsensical. So why does that so, person no. then need to and represent you, the uniform uh, in a polite way when the character in itself is not a highly respected no. MBA practitioner? How would you See, also feel uh, if your uniform Let me explain. Comedians come on stage and wear suits, look good to crack jokes. For the fact that you wear the wig and gown upside down, or you wear it properly, does not take away from your joke. Mm. The fact that you want to pass a... If you are representing charge and bail lawyers, charge and bail lawyers don't wear wig and gown. Nobody wears wig and gowns to magistrate court. These are wigs and gowns that judges wear, the attorney generals wear. It is, it is the symbol of the practicing lawyer in Nigeria. And so if you must represent it, represent it properly. And so it is not about you cracking jokes about law. That is the issue about how you represent the insignia, the symbol of the litigation lawyer. And to answer your question, military undercover or sometimes military personnel who are not on duty can wear a cap and a t-shirt provided that cap has the symbol of authority on it which is the court of arm of Nigeria. I think Lassisi and Lenny will that argue the same thing too empowers now. That empowers that authority. Um, Mr. So, but you can't dress like a general in a movie or in a comedy, and then you're telling me that you wear the uniform upside down, and the Nigerian army will look the other way. Okay, finally, would you like... It is so bad. 
It is even so bad that sometimes they don't even allow you as a civilian to wear that military uniform on the street. Finally, would you like if a silly character is being properly dressed as a lawyer? Say really, uh, that is what the NBA is saying. Dress properly like a lawyer. Dress properly. Lawyer Even and when silly. atomic bombs are trying dress to be Dress properly and be silly. What does that have to do what? with anything? The you question is, would you want them to silly. dress properly and be silly? You can dress properly and be silly. Okay, I'm um, listening to you talk. It's clear that, I mean, I can assume that um, members of the NBA are strongly behind... Um, what Habib Lawal has come out to say because there are situations where yeah. some group of people will say, you know what, we don't agree with this position. But from your initial response, it sounded like you were tilting towards talking about the branding of Nigeria and Africa as a whole, especially because no, when it comes to um, Nollywood, it's, some, it's a tool that can be used to brand our image as a people. Is that exactly. in any way part of your consideration? Yes, because you see sometimes Anytime I watch a Nollywood movie and I see a caricature representation of what is obtainable in court, I immediately switch off that movie. Do you know why? I just tell myself that the producer didn't do a thorough job. If you can go as far as using the courtroom, the official courtroom, to shoot your movie, what stop you from dressing properly as a judge or as a lawyer in that same movie? Why do you why do you want to represent the Nigerian lawyer? Why do you want to make a caricature of the, of the Nigerian lawyer, be it in comedy or in, in a serious movie? Take an American movie, for example, no matter the comic, mm -hmm. when you see them in courtroom because they wear suits, they wear good suits. Even if even if it's a comic scene in court, it shows seriousness. It shows the representation of a, prof a profession. But when you wear jeans trousers and a t-shirt, you throw a wig and a gown on it, and then you hold a file, and you're talking, oh, I am coming from uh, Land Matter. For Christ's sake, dress like a real lawyer, Mr. and you can Mama, be Before finished. I let you go. Um... perception, perception is very key. Okay, before I let you go, like very quickly on a lighter note, did that make you laugh at all? It didn't make me laugh because okay, it was, that's fine. wasn't funny. Okay.